Can natural catastrophes wipe out an entire species? Volcanic eruptions and tropical cyclones have shown themselves of doing exactly that. But it is man who drives wild animals to the brink of extinction. Many species can only be seen in museums, but for some of them, there is still hope. Germany in the year 2021. A state-of-the-art conservation aviary is on a mission to save parrots that are faced with extinction. Breeding parrots is extremely challenging, particularly when it comes to such rare species. The main challenge is to keep them in a way that encourages them to lay eggs. Within a short time, our team succeeded in establishing the small facility as an internationally acclaimed breeding centre. Meanwhile, we've had success with species that are not bred anywhere else in the world. Feeding is another key to successful breeding. The menus are planned down to the last detail, in keeping with the needs of a particular species and the time of year. A veterinarian is always on standby at our in-house clinic. All the birds at the centre are extremely rare and endangered. That's why we have a veterinarian on site uh, and why we have such a um, high-end uh, facility available to these birds uh, to look after them in the best possible way. But even parrots need a change of routine. We use toys, enrichment toys, um, in your inside enclosures, um, sometimes hiding some food items within those toys. We try to keep them busy and active, spend more time doing natural things um, and looking for food. We want them to be able to perform like wild birds to survive when they are released. And this is our main goal, bringing the birds back to the wild. On the one hand, of course, it means I have to let go of my babies. But then, that is exactly what we're working towards. We want them to fly out in the wild again. St. Vincent's Amazons return home. There's a huge welcome for the national bird. In the year 2019, on the 40th anniversary of St. Vincent and the Grenadines' independence, we returned three birds. It was an incredible occasion. The whole country was over the moon. Luckily, all of the birds are doing extremely well. To the Amazons in the Caribbean, we have a good basis to work with. It's a different story for species that are completely extinct. The Spix macaw has been extinct for 20 years, or even 21 now. That is a real challenge. For the first time in over 20 years, Spix's macaws land on Brazilian soil again. We took 52 birds there in 2020, a third of the world's population. It was like a real state reception. So much. The journey continues in a guarded convoy. Out into the scrublands of the Katinga, the Spix Makor's original homeland. The birds are now in a custom-built facility, being prepared for release. Our mission is nearing its ambitious goal. This would be the first time ever that an extinct bird species is returned to its former natural habitat. It was chaos, but we did it. In the end, the birds are here, they're safe and sound. They're eating well, which is fantastic. Um, they settled in well. No losses, no injuries. 
So we be very happy. It's now or never. We've built a solid basis to bring a species that is extinct in the wild back to nature. There are 100,000 hectares of federal land specially reserved for the reintroduction of our birds. We see ourselves as a kind of ark. We've succeeded in preserving and breeding the Spix macaw, and because of this work in our ark in Germany, we are now in a position to take the final step. We will return the Spix's macaw back to the wild. <laughs>